everybody. Uh, hope everyone is doing well. If there's one thing you guys know I have, it's a lot of anecdotal evidence because I print on a lot of printers 24 seven. I also try a lot of stuff out. I test a lot of stuff out. Um, so I'm gonna be making a video soon. I'm following up on Uncle Jesse's video. Shout out Uncle Jesse, great dude, by the way, and great videos. And anyone watching who's not subscribed to Uncle Jesse's channel, please do. He made a, a video on high speed uh, printing which I've been testing as well for, for a while actually, for probably about six weeks. So I'm, I'm gonna have a video on that soon, but for today, this is a tip that hopefully will help every single person with every type of printer, with every type of resin, doesn't matter what you do. And this is something I realize some people don't even know about. So at the bottom of your vat is what we call the FEP, right? The FEP sheet, and you want the, you want the model to stick to your build plate, not your FEP. And then you want every subsequent layer of your model to stick to the model itself and not to stick to the FEP. Well, there is something called NFEP, non-FEP, and that comes, uh, I mean, I get mine from EPAX. I think there might be other makers of it now. I'm not even sure I didn't look, I should go look. But what I want to talk about was NFEP uh, and I, unfortunately, I don't have the science behind it because it's a trade secret. So this frustrates me a little bit. You guys know me. I'm, I'm a little bit sciencey. I like proof. I like evidence. Uh, if, if we're talking about a material, I'd like to know the chemistry of it. I'd love to have Brent from Goobertown. Shout out to Brent also. Another great guy who makes great videos and he's a PhD chemist. So I would have loved to have the chemistry on this and, and like do a collab video with him. Maybe he can weigh in on this anyway, uh, even without the chemistry. But... So I'm going by anecdotal evidence. And normally I'd be the first to say to someone, hey, you know, correlation doesn't prove causality. But then there's the saying where there's smoke, there's fire. So sometimes it does, I guess, to some people. But to me, anyway, I've done enough printing that I have noticed that NFEP that I get from EPAX, um, and I ordered on their site, and I have extras, and here's why. Whenever I replace an FEP on a printer, I always take out whatever they've given me, and I use the NFEP that I get through EPAX. Why? Because in my experience, the NFEP, uh, for lack of a better word, it's slipperier or slipperier. Uh, it, it does not, the resin does not adhere to it as easily as it does to FEP. Now, it doesn't adhere easily to FEP either. Don't get me wrong. FEP works fine. Uh, I have plenty of printers where I haven't had to replace the FEP and it's working fine. But the NFEP for me, in my experience now, and I want other people to chime in, the NFEP for me, I get just less fails. Whenever I replace, even when I, because I'm always, I get fails, but you know, if people don't believe it, I get fails all the time, because I'm always testing new resins, testing different printing techniques, pushing the envelope on supports, so I do get plenty of fails. I get less fails when I'm using the NFEP. In addition, the NFEP to me also lasts longer and maybe because it's slipperier, I don't, I, I'm not sure here why it would be. It, I change NFEP less often than I have to change FEP. So to me, NFEP is what it's advertised as, which is just a better version. Well, I say a better version of FEP because it's non-FEP. An alternative to an FEP sheet that works better. And I truly believe it works better. And it's taken me a while for, a while for me to make this video because I hadn't even thought about it actually. And then the other day uh, when I was changing one of my FEPs and I reached for my NFEP, so okay, now I can finally change this one to an NFEP. That's when I realized, wait a second, no one actually talks about this at all. Um, so I thought it's time for me to just make a video and spread, like for me, I also have to check the price. I didn't check the price, so I'm sorry. yet. I, I got so excited, I just, got the idea and so I have to make this video. So I'll check all this out and, and float it around my head or whatever. But NFEP for I think the same price or maybe a little more, I'm not really sure, uh, to me just works way better. It's a, it's a better product and will help you get better prints, more successful prints. So now I feel like I should have shared this information because I've been, I've been using NFEP every chance I get for probably the last, I probably realized this somewhere about eight months ago maybe and just never thought of, of sharing it just never occurred to me um but so i'm I like whenever i order nfep from epax i stock up on a bunch of different sizes the small ones and the big ones and then like i said whenever i change out an fep 
It goes right to NFEP. So for those of you who haven't heard of it, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have the science to give you. And maybe someone's going to chime in who has some insider information or whatever and can, can tell us what the chemistry difference is. But to me, again, NFEP works better than FEP. So my advice to everyone watching is to get some of this and try it for yourself. See if you feel the way I feel that it's better because obviously, you know, my channel is all about helping you get the best prints, the least fails, the least model damage, all that stuff. And then I realized, you know, part of that starts with if you can have a better, you know, product in your vat, the NFEP over an FEP, then you actually should, especially because uh, I, I think they cost, again, I have to check, but I think they cost about the same. So there's, there's no reason not to. And like I said, it's only anecdotal evidence, but I've, I've had, you know, way more than 20 printers and NFEP for me definitely works better. I'm also running a poll in the Facebook group, um, uh, 3D printed tabletop uh, or tabletop 3D print, oh, tabletop 3D printing guild, because, because I realized I want to collect the anecdotal evidence from all you guys as well. So please comment below. Um, please only comment if you've used both so that I can get your opinion on what works better. Or if you can't tell any difference, that's fine too. That's anecdotal evidence as well. Um, and if anyone out there does know the chemistry involved somehow, knows exactly what's in the NFEP sheets versus an FEP sheet, and, and can back up what I'm saying with some science, I would love to have science back up rather than just marketing material back up for what I'm saying. But like I said, I, I have, I feel enough anecdotal evidence on my own that I can confidently say NFEP is better than FEP. I'd love for you guys to back it up or not back it up, actually. I mean, if, if every single person but me said it's not better, then I'd have to reevaluate why I think it's better. But uh, anyway, that's it. This is not a long video. This is just uh, if you don't know what it is and you haven't tried it, I highly advise you to buy at least one or maybe, maybe they sell them in a packs of three. I don't even know. But get some NFEP. Next time you change out, change the NFEP and then get back to me and let me know Stop tipping over, man, when I shake the table. Um, let me know uh, if it works better for you. So that's it. I, I really hope that this helps you guys. Like, even if it helps you 1%, that's, you know, I'm happy. I, I want you guys to have less fails, more success, better prints. And that's it for today. And uh, I am going to be making that video on high-speed printing soon. Also, uh, I know a lot of people have been asking me. I'm going to make a, a lychee. I, you know, let me say it my way. I'm going to make a lychee versus chitterbox um, video. So those who are unfamiliar with, with lychee can uh, see how it works and what I think are the plus and minuses uh, versus that, you know, uh, lychee versus the new uh, chitterbox, which, which actually has a lot of same functions now. So that's it. Thanks and uh, happy 3D printing, everyone.